Hi, man. What the hell, man? Are you just supposed to be on quarantine right now? Or why are you up in my place? Are you just gonna stand there and watch me eat? Look, give me a second. Let's do it. Hey, I know we boys and all, but you just can't be walking up in here while I'm eating my snacks, browsing the web, and just creeping like that. That's, that's real creepy, dude. But since you're here, have a seat. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff, man. We got uh, three new headphones from Sony that literally just snuck up on the scene. Get in here and look at this. Okay, so first of all, we got the WF XB700 truly wireless uh, headphones or earbuds with extra bass. And we got the WH910Ns, which are kind of a, a Sony, actually it is the Sony here on three wireless noise canceling headphones. And then you got the WHCH710N wireless noise canceling headphones. We're gonna talk about all three of these bad boys. First, we're gonna slide into these uh, extra bass earbuds. Extra bass earbuds? They doing it like that now? Sony, oh man, <laughs> this is good. $129, right? Okay, let me see here. They got this cool colorway. They got the, it's like a navy blue mixed with it, like a, like a soft blue, I don't know what that is, but they look pretty, man. Look at that. Then they got the black on black. That is nice. Okay, so let's see what some special features are. I'm not gonna go into like tech specs and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go into like special features. So they got the video right here. Oh man, that's, looks like a base button on there. Was that a base button? Oh man. Okay, so let me just scroll down. 18 hour battery life, let me see here. Mm, up to 18 hours of listening thanks to the handy charging case. Okay, so that's with the case. So if you're in a hurry, 10 minutes for quick charging, gives you 60 minutes of music playback, uh, stereo sound, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here, uh, secure fit, try hold structure. I did notice it had a weird looking structure to it, so that's gotta have something to do with the ear ergonomics or like the form of your ear so you don't need like a wing tip or something like that. But now we're getting into the XPX or IPX4 rating, which is uh, water resistance for everyday use. So yeah, you can work out in here, but don't go into, well, you know what? We talked about this IP rating stuff. I don't know, man. Take it all with a grain of salt. IP ratings are just a certification, dude. This, things have been semi waterproof or water resistant for a long time. They just came up with some fancy ratings so they can charge these companies money so they can have this on their website and brag about it. The bass that moves you, that's what I want to get into. The WF-XB700 features extra bass for seriously powerful punch on the low end. Your favorite bass lines never sounded so good. But I'm remembering that they took the bass button away from the XB900 ends. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if there's going to be a bass button here or if it's just going to be within the app. But these actually look like they're fairly small. Uh, let me see here because I was expecting them to be huge. Look at, this, look at this design right here. That is a weird looking earbud. What is this? All right, so you got a button on the left and right for volume hands-free call-in. Let me see what's on this one. Uh, you got music playback on the left and... Okay, I wonder if you can change them because it says on the right. And why are these flipped? Here we go again with this flipped mess. So the right is actually on the left of the screen and the left is on the right of the screen. But either way, you got the right one saying music playback, voice assistance, and hands-free calling. And then you got on the left, volume and hands-free calling. I don't see anything. Oh yeah, music playback. And that's probably tracks too. All right, so there's that. So I don't see anything about a bass button on here. So it's definitely gonna be within the app. I'm excited about these, man. Uh, like extra bass, Sony extra bass. You know the 900 ends like killed my eardrums. It was like, like, somebody just dropping elbows on my eardrums and it was it was pretty painful to listen to them because <laughs> it was just thumping, man. So I cannot wait to hear what these earbuds sound like. All right, nine hour battery life. Okay, nine hours on a single charge and 18 with the case. Okay, so that clears that up. Special feature, nah, we're not getting into that. So that those are the earbuds, man. That, that's a quick look at the earbuds. I'll see if I can Oh man, I want to get these. I, this is something I want to try out right here, just because it's the extra bass. 
All right, let's go to the 900 or 910 ends. These are the WHH 910 ends. Man, I don't know what is the deal with their names, but this is them. So what do we have here? Let's play this video. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, the colors. Mm. Look at the colors, the colors. Oh, that red and black. You know I like that red and black. And I see, I saw some design somewhere on the ear pads. All right, let's, let's keep watching, let's keep watching. Okay, let's keep watching. Oh yeah, it's on the black one. I see a design on the ear pad right there. So right, y'all can go to the website and check this out for yourself. But it's got a 35 hour uh, battery life, high res audio. You know, Sony is, you know, real good with their stuff, their codecs and stuff. Noise canceling. Now I would not assume that this is gonna be as good as the WH-1000XM3s, uh, but the, 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 um, the H900 ends, the, yeah, the 900 ends, they were great as far as noise canceling. It was just a little bit, you know, below the, the XM3s, but they were fantastic at noise canceling ability. They do have the adaptive sound control in there and they have the quick attention where you put your right hand up like this and it, it brings in that ambient sound, which is nice. But the look of them, look at that. Look, oh, I like that design on the ear cover. It's so nice. Look at, these are beautiful. It's got a soft look to it. I like how they just kind of softened up the look and made it just, it's just so inviting. This is a beautiful set of headphones right here. All right, look at this chick wearing these headphones, man. They're kind of nice. I like the way they've just done everything. Beautiful stuff, man. All right, so yeah, we talked about that, that uh, noise canceling stuff where it's just a smart system inside of the headphones where it can detect whether you're traveling, uh, and you need complete silence, or if you're walking and you need to hear some hear through, or if you're waiting and you know, it just doesn't need as much noise canceling or it just turns it completely off. Now, when it comes to sound, Sony's touting their high res audio and high res audio wireless. I think these have like some 20 millimeter drivers or something like that. I saw it somewhere. Uh, where is it? But it, before I get to that, uh, we do see LDAC right here and DSSE, all the same codecs from Sony that you're normally seeing with their uh, headphones. Ah, okay, there we go. We got the uh, touch to skip tracks, answering in calls and the volume still on the right hand side. Sony is, is staying true to that. They are doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on the swipe functions of the uh, the right ear cup, which is nice because it, it makes everything consistent within all of their headphones. Let me see here. I did see three, whoa, 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 whoa now. Okay, 360 reality audio. Oh yeah, this only works with Tidal. If you have Tidal, I believe, you can get this 360 reality audio. I need to do Tidal, man. I don't have Tidal. I do all my music through Google Play Music. I need to see what's up with Tidal, especially since I need to experience this 360 reality audio stuff. Uh, where are those drivers? I wanna see what size the drivers are. Oh, I could've swore I saw 20 millimeter drivers. For some reason that is sticking in my brain, but I don't see it here. Maybe it's in the next one. Let's move on to the WHCH 710 ends. Okay, these are a little bit more boring. They do look uh, like a, like a, just a slightly different version of the, um, the 700 ends, like a bigger version actually. And they do have some more colors, man. They got blue and then they got the white right here. The blue and white is nice. And they, they also have the gray, which is cool. Is it gray? Yeah, it's kind of a gray, a dark gray. But these are going to be more for the classier type of user. Like that, the, the H not the, or the here ons, those are for a more youthful crowd. It, it, they usually have a lot more punch to them too. The here on, they usually have a, a little bit more punch than your, uh, your XM3 models, but not as much as the, uh, the XB series. So the here on is for people who like a little bit of extra bass, a more youthful audience, but they don't need the extra bass and they, you know, they're, they don't want to spend the money on the XM3s. Now where these sit, the 700 class, I'm not sure where these sit, I guess. Ah, I figured it out. Okay. So you don't want to spend the, the kind of bread on the WH, uh, XM3s, so you scale it back about 100, 100, 150 bucks. Okay, 150 bucks. Yeah, you scale it back 150 bucks because these are 199, and you don't get as good of noise canceling. It's probably on the same level as the 900 class, but the sophistication in the headphone design, you can see it here. It's a little bit more adult like, but I do see some extra stuff on these, so let's just see what they're all about. So they got the noise canceling. 
Uh, you got physical buttons here. Ah, okay, yes, you do have the physical buttons here on the, looks like the right ear cup, which is okay. They didn't go with the swipes on the, on the newer version. You got 10 minutes worth of quick charge that'll give you an hour worth of play time after that 35 hour battery life. That's super long. That's, that's nice to have that long of a battery. All right, so it says design with style in mind. And I can see that, man. These are very sleek, very inconspicuous. There's not all kinds of crazy colors and designs on the ear pads. This is for the adult in you if you just want to get out there and listen to some music. Okay, my bad. It was the 30 millimeter drivers I saw, not 20. It was 30 millimeter drivers, okay? Uh, let me see here. Well, 1.2 inch 30 millimeter drivers. There you go. All right, so they will, mm, 30 millimeter drivers, ugh. All right, I'm not expecting a whole lot of bass out of these. Now the 700 ends, they did not have anywhere near enough bass for me. This is something that, this is for something, if you're looking for something like a Sennheiser or you know something like an Audio Technica, you know, comparison or something like that, this is where you probably wanna go because these are going to lack bass, I guarantee you. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna lack bass, I guarantee you they will. All right, so you got your hands-free help. Let me see, uh, do you have Google Assistant on here? Yeah, okay, yes. So you can get your phone assistant, your Google Assistant, or your Siri. Uh, what else is going on with these? Not much, man. These are actually pretty boring. Yeah, you got NFC, blah, blah, blah. These are the most boring headphones that they've dropped. They've dropped three, and this is definitely the most boring one. I might check these out, I'm not sure. I did the 700 ends, and I was very underwhelmed, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna feel the same way about these, but I might check them out. Now these H910Ns, these are worth checking out, man. I definitely need to check these out because I wanna see what they look like in real life for sure, cause they have these uh, designs on them. But I wanna you know, make sure I'm correct in saying that they do have a little bit more bass than the XM3s most likely, but not as much as the, um, as the, uh, the, uh, the XB series. So it's kinda, man, Sony's kinda, Mm, they're bleeding into their own product lines here, man. They're competing with each other. So where do these sit next to the H900 ends? Or yeah, it's, it, they're bleeding into themselves. But I think today's star of the show is definitely these extra bass earbuds. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this right here. Hey man, if you just got as excited as I did, you make sure you give me some emoji hands up in the comment section because yeah, I'm gonna have to try these out, man. I'm, I'm, I have to try them out just just because, man, extra bass earbuds, where they do that at? Let's see if Soundcore's got some competition. Cause you know those uh, Liberty Pro 2s? Yeah, those are the bass kings right now. So we'll see if Soundcore has a little bit of competition. Anyways, man, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update on what I found this morning in the headphone news. And uh, yeah, I gotta get out of here. I got a lot more videos to make. So I just wanted to drop this off for y'all real quick. Hey man, y'all have a good one and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might wanna consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?